San Francisco is home to over 7 million people. They're all sitting on a tectonic time bomb. Two big earthquakes, one in 1906, another in 1989, nearly destroyed the city. Uh, there's a hell of an earthquake and we've got uh, windows and everything that's falling out. The cost of the disasters, more than 3,000 dead. And over $6 billion worth of damage. Engineers in San Francisco are working hard to stop tragedies like this from happening again. An army of workers is improving bridges, anchoring homes, and upgrading the transport systems to make the city earthquake proof. One of their greatest challenges is to build skyscrapers that stay standing when the earth moves. The tallest one in town is the Transamerica Pyramid, towering 850 feet above the city. Its skin is made of almost 4,000 glass windows and thousands of tons of concrete and crushed quartz. Sheltering the 1,500 people who work in this colossus. They need all the protection they can get. As just a few miles away is the source of all the big earthquakes in San Francisco. It's the San Andreas Fault, the bane of California. A team of geologists is on a mission to track the fault with extreme precision. This is an image looking down the San Andreas Fault with San Francisco located here. However, in just looking at this image, it's actually difficult to see where the fault might actually be. The team's plane is equipped with LIDAR, a laser that scans the ground with an accuracy of six inches. This laser shoots 100,000 shots per second and can be used to directly illuminate the ground surface by penetrating through the vegetation to show the ground surface below. LIDAR strips away bushes and trees, even houses, to reveal the true landscape below. When we overlay the LIDAR imagery that illuminates the bare ground surface, we can clearly see the location of the San Andreas Fault as this gash in the landscape that runs right next to San Francisco. Two colliding continental plates create this tear in the landscape. Sliding on top of hot magma, they slowly crunch past each other. The landscape above breaks apart and forms the San Andreas Fault. In this area, the Pacific and North American plates are moving roughly about uh, 35 millimeters per year relative to one another. In some places, the San Andreas Fault actually moves continuously over time, whereas in other places, such as right here, the San Andreas is actually stuck or locked. The continental plates never stop moving. So where the fault is locked, extreme tension builds up in the rocks. They bend and stretch until they shatter and unleash a barrage of shock waves and earthquake. San Francisco is in a little bit of a precarious position. You can't relocate a city. And so 
You just have to try and prepare the city as best you can 